What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to talk about work kinetic energy theorem. Okay, so in the last video, we, we talked about the relationship between the force exerted on a particle on its kinetic energy. And we found out that the force exerted on the particle, we're talking about the force, we're talking about the net force acting on the particle. This is equal to the total derivative of the kinetic energy with respect to x. Now, if you're going to recall again that the that for a, let's say a Cartesian coordinate system, and let's say a particle move from one point to another, it's called this point one to point two. So point one and point two positions 1 and positions 2 are defined by their position functions R1 and R2 and from here so let's say the particle move along this path along this direction okay and this path or this particle moves under the influence of a force let's call that fr so let's say the particle is at this position at a certain time so this particle will now have a, a force let's say in this direction okay so the work done as the particle move from point 1 to point 2 by this f which is a function of r is given by the integral of the force along that path Let's say point point 1 to point 2 okay so therefore in one dimension this is actually equal to work equals the uh, integral of fx or f as a function of x dx from your initial position x naught to some position x and from here we can see that this is actually the integral of dt from initial kinetic energy to its final kinetic energy which gives us the difference between the final and initial kinetic energy so again here x naught and x are the initial and final positions of the particle respectively and correspondingly t naught and t are the kinetic energy of the particle at positions x naught and x so hence, we state the work kinetic energy theorem wherein the work done on a particle, so we're talking about work done, this is the total work done because this is the work done due to, a net, due to your net force and this is equal to the change in kinetic energy of the particle. Okay, so this relationship relates the work done on a particle and the change in kinetic energy of the particle. And this shows that, for example, if the work done on the particle is positive, okay, by this relationship, we say that the final kinetic energy is greater than the initial kinetic energy, which tells us that the speed after the work has been done is greater than the speed before the work has been done initially. So the particle speed up. On the other hand, if the work done is negative, so that means the kinetic energy is less than the initial kinetic energy. Similarly, the speed after 
would be less than the speed before. So that means the particle slowed down. Okay, so an example of which is, for example, if a if a block on top of a frictionless surface is pushed, let's say at x naught, the speed is zero. So if a particle, if a force is exerted to the right, so that means this object will eventually move here. At a later time t, the position is at x, and you will notice that at this point in time, the velocity is not equal to zero. In fact, this velocity is greater than zero, or the object speed up. Now, for example, if, let's say, In a rough surface, there is an object, let's say a block, that is moving initially with the speed v. Because this is rough, so there is now a frictional force because this is moving to the right. That means the frictional force, let's say this is kinetic friction, will be opposite the direction of your motion. Okay, so that means eventually this will come to a stop where the speed is equal to zero so in this case the direction in this case in the first case the direction of the displacement is along the direction of your force so that means work done is positive and then the kinetic energy is greater than the initial kinetic energy on the other end here here, the particle move from here to here. So the displacement will be in this direction. The force that causes direction, the, this causes displacement is in opposite direction. So the work then is negative. Therefore, kinetic energy is less than the initial kinetic energy. And that's it. That's an example of your work, kinetic energy theory. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you learned something today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.